rhymes in his rhymes cause his memories We running through New York so you never leave Strap my lungs then we puff until we're that right We're giving them some stories they come back like Manic this, manic that, why you crawling to me? The hell we gonna... Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to use Insta Plus on your Mini Cooper. Now, a lot of people are not aware of this. The only people that have become aware of this kind of software is my BMW people, and they weren't even aware of it until I come around. So now I'm gonna be showing you Mini guys how you can diagnose your car with ease using this software. Now, a lot of Mini people are not aware of this and still running around the dealers and still using cheap scanners but I'm gonna be showing you that this software that I use works for BMW and Mini, and this is the same exact software as what the dealers would use if you took it to them. Their skills are very limited though compared to mine. They don't, can't repair modules, they only use one program to program. There's a lot involved in it. If you guys wanna get deep in it, I will be doing a lot of videos regarding this for the Mini. Um, a lot of coding, all the programs I use will work on Mini and can work on BMW. Both of them are in the same group. So what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you how to use Insta Plus on the Mini today on the R53. This also goes for R56. You can use them on all the minis possible. Okay guys, so as you'll see here, I've got the icon on the mini itself inside. Now, I just want to explain, a lot of people seem to believe they need an icon. You do not need an icon. The reason I use an icon is because I do, do a lot of this professionally as well as for franchises and main dealers. So I need to use an icon. You do not have to use an icon to do this. You can follow what I'm showing you using the Yista program but it does not mean you need to go and buy yourself an icon. A lot of people seem to think, after they watch my videos, that you must use an icon. You do not. And I'm just gonna say that now, you don't need to use an icon. You can use a normal cable, which costs you about 20 pounds just to connect up to the car. Okay guys, so as you'll see, I'm just in ISTA now. This is ISTA Plus, this is the actual program we're gonna be using. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to read out vehicle data. And bearing in mind I'm using an icon, what it's gonna do is gonna find the icon on the screen itself. Then we're gonna click OK to connect and set up a connection. So now what you're going to see here is you're now you're going to see it scan for the car and find the car, which is doing vehicle identification. So we're just going to let it do its thing. And then it should pick up the car. Now you've got to remember this is a Mini Cooper R53. This is still using quite a lot of the old modules, the GM modules, even though it's 06. It's still using the old style systems. But as you see there, showing up the Mini, showing up everything, the VIN, the R53, so it's a manual, shows up everything. What we're going to go ahead and do, and this car does have an engine light on since the day I bought it. So I'm going to show you how you get diagnose these fault codes, which is a good thing for this video, because it shows you guys how to use this program and how to clear fault codes if you ever come across having these kind of fault codes. Now, if you guys ever want this kind of application, again, it's something I can provide. But it's something that's down to personal preference. Some people like to use cheap scanners, but this is why you never get your right fault codes. This is the kind of software, like I said to you, in the dealers they'll use. And in here, now as you see, the rad is red. That's because the radio has been changed. It's normal, same as BM. But as you see here, there's a lot of different EWS, which is the main key. I can make keys for that module as well, by the way. If you guys have worn keys for your Mini, I can make the keys for them as well. Just to let you guys know, the GM is yellow because someone didn't remove the rear wiper. Um, on this car so that's showing up as yellow because the rear wiper was deleted um, so it has got a lot of quite a bit modifications already so let's go into display fault memory and as you'll see right there the oxygen sensor as I said on one of my previous videos I don't know if you guys are aware when I said to you lambda sensors are on the way out this is why I've ordered them because of this reason this is the common problem on it as you see here the oxygen sensor this is why I was telling you to um, make sure you change them at your 100k service because they do fail and will fail like this one has so now what we'll go to is if we roll into on two we could calculate a test plan now it's going to show me the test plans for one the oxygen sensor radio which we know why and the other one the wiper switch wiper switch i know why all of them i know why now if we go to oxygen sensor for instance we can just raise a test plan and see what's actually wrong with that in ISTA itself so let's go on to here and as you'll see the poor level exhaust purification activates the MIL. Shows straight away why it's causing a check engine light. So now you see the both the R50 and R53 have two lambda sensors, one before and one after the cat, which is what I told you guys. Signal from lambda provides the engine control information about the oxygen, i.e. the air and fuel ratio, and it monitors it. So obviously it's telling me to start the engine, which I'm not gonna do, but you could start the engine and it can check the pulse width modulations from the lambda sensor. So we'll come out of that test plan. So now guys, I'm just gonna show you. Now, if we go into control unit, the service functions on this, which you can see right here, We've got a load of service functions that this car can do. So you'll see the EWS electronic mobilizer. We can 
do adjustment, key status, and things like that. We can also reset the adaptions, which this is a manual, so it would only really reset the engine, but not the gearbox. Now, if this was an auto, it would reset the gearbox as well. So in that sense, you know, you'd be able to do that, but we don't need to do that. The next one is chassis and suspension. So you've got the traction control system. So we got that right there and this connection speed sensor, ventilation and brake lines. There's not really much on the modules in the Mini because this ain't really a high tech car like BMW is, so it's a lot better. But then on the body, we've got the alarm system. So we can check the alarm system activation. We can check the automated interval control, as you guys can see there. We can check all that, initialize the rain sensor, put all the keys. We can do the instrument cluster, reset the service interval indicator test functions we can do the test functions on the car multiple restraint system so we can also do that and if we've got an airbag light we can test the restraint system dvd lock if you was coming to dvd i suppose some of them do come with i drive again it's all bound to what model you picked but you see guys you know a lot of in the service functions are not really many compared to bmw but all this you can do a lot more than what you can do with your normal cheap little scanner now if you're going to troubleshooting or you're going to repair and maintenance you'll see everything here and it will show you how to do everything on this car so for instance if you needed to know how to i don't know remove the oil sump it will show you here how to remove that step by step and tell you what you need so for instance removing and installing the sump so for instance you see right here it shows you how to remove the sump step by step what you need to do how to remove it what to remove to get the sump removed very easy and it's very straightforward so the crankcase ventilation which this one has and it's very easy it's just this pipe here it's got the crankcase ventilation you guys know i've already mentioned that in the video you just pull off that and poke the valve out and clean it out usually you might get away of cleaning it out you might need to renew it who knows so for instance also you've got the pistons the correction rods so it shows you how to do everything you need to you won't have to go to a garage and think oh i need to go to a garage to show me how to do this to show me how to do that no you don't you can just come into here and do, manage to look up how to repair the car yourself it tells you what tools what special tool it is it gives you the number you can look it up online and then you can go and purchase it yourself same way the dealers would use it you will not need to go to a dealer the same with the engine electrical system if you've got a problem with the for instance ignition leads and spark plugs it will show you right here replace the ignition they cable renewing all spark plugs so for instance you'd go here spark plug remover which is right there you're going to need now replacing ignition coils is one two photos right there you know everything is just here ready for you to see you don't need to go to a dealer to pay money to go and have it diagnose your car this is look at how easy this is straight from here i can test everything so now back in this operation is what you would see when you come here you would see all the modules here like green and list all the modules as you see guys if you went on a normal scan it wouldn't show you your radios out like that or if you went on your gm it wouldn't show you these kind of codes and this is what i mean about it's when i tell everyone make sure you use ista because ista can do certain things that cheap scanners will never ever do it will show you your car it will tell you what you can do what you can't do so for instance i've clicked on the dme now you see that's an mv2k now realistically there should be there's probably an update for this as well now you guys are probably not aware 2002's um, BMW is releasing an update for the DMEs on the Mini Coopers because they were having a problem and updating to the newer software to stop issues with the supercharger and to give more throttle response. So if yours ain't been updated, again, it's something I can do, which I will be doing on this Mini, checking if it's got an update, and we will update the modules. So bearing in mind, we're just on this screen here. Now, if you come onto this screen here, you can just click on one of the modules right here as you see, I'm clicking on the DME, and then you go down to here, which is call up service ECU functions. So now you just wait for it to call up the ECU functions. Now this unlocks a lot more things than the service functions because from this menu, you can then test every certain feature that that DME's got. So for instance, the lambda sensors, the idle control valve, everything that relates to the engine itself. So therefore I'm gonna be testing everything, making sure everything works. Now we could just calling it up, it can take some time. Like I said, running on the old fashioned lines, just K bus, you know, so it is, quite hard for it to pick up communication with it but on the same sense as i said to you guys don't think you need an icon this software i can provide we can also install it for you we can do it a lot so then that way we can get you mini guys running and rolling so as you see here i've come into diagnosis scan and as you'll see right here there's a lot of things you can just check so as you see here you can do not control and see the cylinder see the advance angle and check everything yeah you can also check the ews the communication fault and what other faults it's got on the system itself as well air conditioning system you can check the ac compressor and do whatever you really want to do through that system you can also do component triggerings which would be the electric fan stage one stage two faster low clock the fuel injector so you can check the fuel injectors you can do general so air conditioning compressor leak diagnosis pump shift lever interlock which is usually on the cvt transmission which is the same as bmw it's usually when someone's been playing about the gearbox 
Oxygen sensor heating after cat. You can check if they're heating up. Again, something we've just seen. Like I said to you, you can check them through here. You can do the idle correction value, which corrects it if the idle is a bit off and you're thinking that the idle's off and find out why. Throttle module, you can check everything here. So you've got more open wide thread for just for this itself. Now, as you'll see here, battery voltage, we can see the battery voltage. So if I read the state of the battery voltage, we can see it's 12.1. Coolant temperature is 27, where I just started it to move it. So you can basically check a lot more than what you'd be able to get on a normal scanner. Now, if we go into here, which I believe this is the electro-hydraulic power steering module. So we're going to go into here. Now we can go into component triggering. Now you can see the steering servo, 100%, 50%. You can see right there, you can check the steering as well and general. Now, all in here, you can check everything that's going on regardless of the steering to check if it's still operating because as you guys know, it's electric steering. So there's a lot of things you can check in this system itself. Bearing in mind, like I said, if you need to check anything yourself, a garage will go there and what will happen is they will just load you up on their blue little system, which they pay the dealer 25K a year and not be able to access half of this. Garages are not allowed to use this unless they pay BMW a lot of money to have this system. And this system is what will find your fault immediately. That's why I get a lot of people when they say to me they've gone to the garage, garage can't find their fault. They pull it on a scanner and they got P0 code. P0 code is not what you're looking for. As you saw, this software tells you straight away when you saw what I done, it gave me the fault codes immediately what I was looking for. You saw right there, it didn't give me no P0 code, it gave me 00C and it gave me 00138. Straight away told me oxygen sensor. It can't be more simpler than that and it makes your life a lot easier when it comes to doing anything. Now, as you'll see here, we've got the combi too. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the combi and we're just gonna scan that and we can see that the software is there and I can see all the software day when it was updated, if it was ever updated just by that. And the same for the combi one, which is another one here. Um, this one can take a, more, a lot longer, but as you see there, it didn't. Now, as you can see, you can do a control unit test. You can do the LED lights. You can check all the lights on there. Need to activation, warning sounds, central encoding code, and that's usually for the GM. So you got to check that. You can check the, all the other stuff, the brake pad wear indicator, make sure that comes on, oil pressure, tank sensors you can check. You can also check the point of instruments, check the supply to the instrument cluster, make sure everything's okay about when you get a bloody tester out. There's a lot you can do with this software. Now, if we go into the GM module as well, you're going to see here as well, we can test a load of other functions, which will be all your lights and everything else, the alarm system, heat for windscreen, the GM module controls the lot in the car. Now the GM is exactly the same as it is on BMW, same as it is on E46, E53 and E39, which is the BMW side. You guys, if you don't know, you can check my video out on how to use ISTA on the BMW as well. But as you've probably seen, this is BMW mini workshop system. This can give you a lot of possibilities to be able to diagnose your car. First time correct, I have provided a lot of people with it and they are very, very thankful because of what it can doing how much has saved them in the long run this software is unbelievable what it can do it will save you running around like a headless chicken trying to find your problem um like i say i get asked a lot do i take uh, uh, private work outside of youtube yes i do um it just depends on what is going to be done what needs to be done how long the car needs and um, what work needs to be done above all else there's a lot of modules here as you see here there's even ones down here video and you've got the seat occupancy detection you know which is just down there which this one don't have hallelujah we don't want that in that but then we got the mfl which is the multi-function steering wheel so we can call up the ecu functions on that and test that if we really wanted to again that runs along with the radio which the radio has been removed so they don't work anyway we've got a new radio in it the rain light sensor is right there rls that's what that stands for now if you go into control unit list in control unit list you'll see here this is all the um modules that are listed or based on the tree if you didn't want to go through the tree and you can see exactly what they all mean just by them. So if you're looking for a particular problem, you might load it. Got to remember, GM controls everything on the car in the body side of things. So windows, alarm system, um, with everything that relates to the body of the car. Now, as you see here, I'm loading back up the engine electronics just to show you on ECU functions what it can do. We're going to load that up and let it do its thing. But as you've seen here, the diagnostics do work very, very well. Now, I'm looking here for the programming date. So the last programming date was in 2006 and it's never been updated since. So therefore, this does need an update and then I'm gonna be updating the module myself, which you guys will see as well. When the time comes, once the engine has been fully complete, we'll update the engine as well. So that's another thing that hasn't been done. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, as you see here, there's a lot of different things you can do. You can do the component structure. You can also do fault pattern and find your fault. So for instance, in a fault pattern, you could go into here, tell what's happening with the car and it will pinpoint exactly what's wrong with your car. So there's a lot of things involved here. You can even put in the, input the fault code of a P0 code. You can do a lot of things. If your friend's got a car, you can also check it out by going onto um, his, uh, on just putting in his VIN and checking it out yourself. 
as you see here guys the vehicle details all come up this is the car i got w11 with a b16 engine you know it's a, a normal r53 model mini mileage is always going to show in kilometers so don't scare yourself when you see you thinking it's got mileage manipulation honestly it always shows in kilometers you worked it out and it should be accurate so don't worry too much about that it will show you your programming data as well so that's another thing that you guys just need to be aware of that is the plus does work on mini and it's the best software to use everyone knows me i don't recommend anything else no cheap scanners ista is the way forward so guys as you've just seen there i've just shown you how to use ista and i hope you've enjoyed the just brief demonstration of how to use it if you do need any help using it like i say i'm usually there if you do want to do this program and you're not aware that it even worked for mini please do let me know remember guys all programs work for mini whether that be r56 r50 doesn't matter they do all work for mini and you can also flash them and update them as well so if you do need these programs please get in contact with me okay guys so you've just seen me use ista plus on the mini um that's how you would use it normal day-to-day -day for your normal diagnostics and normal just thought evaluating on these cars the same as i always do bmw if none of you have ever become aware of it and now you just are as i said you can contact me or you can go and watch my other video on the bmw one it's probably one of the best videos on youtube so far for my bmw it's the plus one so you guys can go and check that out it's helped a lot of other people it's got a lot of views on it um it's just the same and you'd use it the same way as you would on the mini if you guys do want it as i said please contact me i'm trying to do my best to help the mini people out because i know a lot of mini owners go to bm or they go to the dealers trying to diagnose their car as well there's a lot of bit of the same exact thing like a lot of bmw people on youtube so when you do see this video you'll finally know that you can diagnose your car yourself without having to go to the dealers. A lot of people are trying to use cheap scanners. My best advice to you is don't use cheap scanners on these cars. You will never find a correct fault and you'll end up like a lot of my BMW people still not being able to find the correct fault first time using cheap scanners because they leave a lot of P0 code and they can't read every single module on the car. They only read the very basic ones, i.e. the DME, the gearbox and things like that, but they will never relate and you can't do a test plan with them. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It's BMW Dr. Dean here. If you ain't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit the bell. Thank you very much, guys, and goodbye.